I got to thank him in every situation. To be grateful for the finished works of Jesus, to know that I am healed and it, was, it happened 2,000 years ago. That I am delivered and it happened 2,000 years ago. That I prosper and I'm sound and it happened 2,000 years ago. And today I celebrate the finished works of Jesus, knowing that it's already done, that I'm not thanking God for something that he will do. I'm thanking God for something that he has done, and I begin to rejoice. And what he is saying in chapter 9 is, when you give, you give out of appreciation for what has been done for you. You give thanking him for what he has done for you. My giving is an expression of thanks. It's an expression uh, that I appreciate him for all he has done. And what has he done for me? Watch this. Everything. You don't hear me. You don't even realize you're sitting here inhaling and exhaling because of Jesus. You could have been dead sleeping in your grave when you had that accident, when you had that diagnosis, when you had that situation, when that almost happened, and that almost happened, and that shoulda, woulda, coulda. And I think sometimes you need to be reminded that the only reason you are alive today is because of Jesus. And I'm talking about the stuff you know about. I'm not even talking about the stuff Jesus did that you don't even know about. You don't know about what could have happened down the street, but he intervened and moved that thing away before you got there. You don't know about that you had a disease, but when you went to the doctor, he moved it out of the way so nobody would see it because he wanted you to be in peace. You have no idea all of the things that Jesus has done for you and he keeps doing for you every single day. And you walk around and not being thankful for it. Ah, uh, if you understand that at any moment you can have an aneurysm and die, at any moment something could happen. Somebody could have shot you. Something could have exploded in your house. The water heater could have lit. You don't have any idea what Jesus has done for you. And when you get an opportunity to say thank you, 